हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय चैनल पराग तांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन लुबीज रैंडमाइज अल्गोरिदम टू फाइंड आउट मैक्सिमल इंडिपेंडेंट सेट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी पैरेलल इंप्लीमेंटेशन और पैरेलल फॉर्मूलेशन ऑफ दिस अल्गोरिदम सो हियर वी विल कंसीडर दिस थ्री सेट्स सो सेट आर सेट सी एंड सेट आई सेट आर कंसिस्ट ऑफ रैंडम नंबर्स allocated to each vertex so basically in lubiz algorithm we allocate unique random number to each vertex so here you can see and all these random numbers are unique this means this random numbers are not repeated so these random numbers are present in set r and r is saved in a shared address space so later on we will see other two sets are c and i so set c is called as candidate set it has information regarding all the vertices so initially all the entries so there is a corresponding entry for each vertex initially all the entries in candidate set is set to 1 there is another set that is set i i stands for independent set and in the beginning all the entries are zero and in set c and set i there is a corresponding entry for each vertex so for a there is one entry b there is one entry c for uh, for there there is one entry now see when, uh, in parallel implementation there are multiple processes those are working on this graph and they are finding this independent set so when all the values in candidate set becomes zero at that time we will stop and at that time whatever the values are there in independent set i so for we whose value is 1 so those vertices will be there in maximal independent set so for example at the end suppose b's value is 1 d's value is 1 in independent set that means b and e will be in a maximal independent set okay so now we'll see how this algorithm work so here multiple processes are working parallelly simultaneously so suppose p is the number of processes and n is the number of vertices in this graph we can take p smaller than n or we can take p is equal to n so we can take both we can take anything p that is number of processes less than number of vertices or we can take p is equal to n that is number of processes equal to number of vertices in this graph so if p smaller than n so one process will take care of multiple vertices suppose see uh, here total eight vertices are there and suppose p is equal to 4 so one process will take care of this another process will take care of this third process will take care of this and fourth process will take care of this so for simplicity i uh, will take p is equal to n that is number of processes is equal to number of vertices now see how this uh, algorithm will work so see uh, now we have allocated each vertex to one process so there is one process for uh, vertex a one another process for vertex b third process for vertex c now uh, what the processes will do so lubiz algorithm is based on basic principle so what is the basic principle of this algorithm only that vertex is added in set i whose random value is smaller than is neighboring vertices again i am repeating here basic principle of lubiz algorithm is only that vertex whose random number is smaller than is neighboring vertices only that number or that vertices or that vertex is added in independent set i now see so process so all the processes they will work simultaneously so all the processes what they will check they will check whether their allocated vertex has a smaller number than their neighbors or not and this r that random set r is saved in a shared address space so all these processes can access set r now see so see a uh, process which is for a that will check so 6 but 6 is smaller than 9 but 6 is larger than 4 so for time being it will not do anything process for b so it will check uh, it is a 4 it is smaller than a uh, 6 it is smaller than 9 but it is larger or greater than this two so again it will not do anything c 
so this process will check okay so 9 is greater than 6 4 and 7 also so it will not do anything now process for vertex d so it will check okay so do uh, 2 is smaller than 4 and 2 is smaller than 7 also so this process now will make this entry 0 and corresponding entry in set i as a 1 so we'll show it by different color okay and it will this process only it will mark in uh, that its neighbors are also as a visited okay so see this process what will do so these neighbor are b and e so b so it will make it zero but see uh, this process will not make this one because only that vertex whose random number is smaller than the neighboring vertices only that for those vertices only we are making changes in set i but for others will not make changes but for neighbors see these neighbors is b and e so for this that entries in candidate c will be marked at the zero so see these uh, neighbors are b so we'll make it zero but we'll keep this zero as it is and again uh, this neighbor is e so this neighbor is e so this process only will make it zero now see so uh, so we'll show it by different color so that means these vertices are removed from the graph okay so next process that is e so e so already that vertex is removed from this and 7 is greater than 9 and 1 okay so this process will not do anything the f f has 5 okay but 5 is greater than this 3 so again this process will not do anything for this time being process for g okay this 3 3 is smaller than 5 but 3 is greater than 1 so this process will not do anything then process for h so it will check so see e is already removed from this graph so yet this process will check so this is one one is smaller than this three so this process what it will do it will make it zero and this process it will make it one so that corresponding entry from set i it will mark it as a one now see so okay so we'll uh, show it by different color okay and what is this uh, neighbor of h yes neighbor is g so this process what will do so corresponding entry in candidate set so it will make it zero so add is neighbor okay now see so one thing is done so these are the remaining vertices okay so g again uh, that we have taken so we will show it by different color that means this vertex is removed from the graph okay now see this processes again so this process uh, which is responsible for say uh, vertex a now it will check so in the beginning uh, it has not done anything why because uh, 6 was greater than this uh, 4 but now this vertex is removed from the graph so now this process will check so 6 is smaller than 9 so now this process will make this entry as a 0 and corresponding entry in set i as a 1 so we will show it by different color And it's never never is c so this process uh, will make this entry in candidate set c as a zero but see we are not changing that entry in set i only where uh, only for those entries only for those vertices whose neighbor is as random number smaller than this neighboring vertices only for them only we are making uh, we are changing the entries in set i now see so again we will show it by different color now see so okay so now this process so this process will check so it is one so it will check so only one vertex is remaining all vertices are removed only so anyhow that means it is a smaller than the neighbors anyhow all these vertices are removed so this process is responsible for f so this process will make it zero and corresponding entry in set i will make it one now see there are no neighbors so we show it by different color now see all these vertices from this graph are removed now so 
maximum so see uh, for this algorithm when all the entries in candidate set are zero so there this algorithm stops so finally maximal independent set so that i is see one is for what a then again one is for what d again one is for f one is for h so this is the maximal independent set that we got and how it is done it is done parallelly whereas a number of more processes they are working simultaneously and they are accessing r r is saved in a shared address space now see there is no synchronization problem if multiple processes they are changing the values of c and i but still it is not a problem why because all these processes suppose see there are two processes and uh, those are may, uh, changing the values of c and i but anyhow uh, those values are changed from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so if, if multiple processes they change the value from 1 to 0 so it will not affect in final output so there will not be any synchronization problem as um, uh, uh, the changes if they are done the changes are done parallelly but it is not of, it will not affect on the final output so we got this final maximal independent set suppose see, if p is smaller than n that is number of processes smaller than n so uh, instead of uh, allocating one process to each vertex so one process will have multiple vertices only that change will be there and total cost that we require in this parallel formulation that will be equal to the serial one only that is the order of log here yeah. there is a order of log n so that is the average cost that we require in this algorithm so average cost so in this way this uh, lubitz algorithm is done parallelly so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you